How to randomly draw a name in Excel using a list of names to draw to pick a winner. The first thing that you need to have in order to make this randomly draw, you need to have a list of names that you're going to use. It doesn't matter if your list, let's say, is smaller or actually larger than mine because it's going to work if you follow this step by step. The first thing that you need to do here is we already have the list. And then as the first column or in a column to the left of my list, I actually need to enumerate all the names that I have. So let me click here in the column A, right click, insert. Okay, so this first column right here is going to be where I'm going to input the numbers. One, two, three, four, and on and on to the ending of the, the list. But instead of doing it manually, I can select these first four numbers and I can double click here in the down right corner of the cell because that way Excel is going to continue to do the sequence for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you move all the way down to the last row, you can see here I have 15 different names. Okay, 15 different names. And it doesn't matter if you have a thousand of different names or a list that is much, much larger than the list that I, I'm using here. This is going to work. Okay, so we have the two informations that we need. First one, the numbers and the names. And each one of the names are being associated with a different number. Okay, so this is very important. And now in any blank cell right here, I'm going to use the random between function to help me to automatically and randomly generate a number. Let's say equal sign first, always use the equal sign and then random between here. Rand between, rand between. Double click here, one, two, to select. Now I need to input here the thresholds or the minimum limit and also the maximum limit. As the bottom argument here, I'm gonna use one because one is the first number that I have here and comma. Now as the top argument or my maximum threshold, I'm gonna use 15 because I have as the last number 15. But if you have a different amount than I am using here, you can input here a different number, okay? A different threshold. But here I'm gonna use from 1 up to 15. Close parentheses and then enter. Whenever I update now my spreadsheet, let's say if I click in any cell and then press enter, as you guys can see, the number is gonna change. Or also if I press the F9 key, F9, the number is gonna randomly generate again. And the way we're gonna get a different number. Just with this function, rand between, we already can draw a winner through the list. But let's say I, I got this number, third one. So the third one is the winner. The person associated with this number is the winner. Let me uh, go down here in the list. Let's say, okay, third one is this person right here. So she is the winner. But instead of manually look up the name associated with the number, I can use the VLOOKUP function or also the XLOOKUP function to help me bring back as result the name associated with the number. So let's do it. Equal sign VLOOKUP function. Double click here. Once you to select. The lookup value that I want to use here is the number 31 or whatever the number I have here above. Joma. The table array that I'm going to use is column A and column B. I can select the entire column. Okay. Column A and column B. And then Joma. The column index number is going to be the number two because as I have here as the first column, the numbers and as the second column, the names, I want to bring it back as result to the second column where I have the names. So this is why I input here the number two and then Joma, I want you to use an exact match. So let me double click here. I want you to select close parentheses and then enter. Now, whenever the numbers update for me, F9 key, F9 key. Either the number and the name is going to be automatically changed. But remember, the name and the number are being associated with each other. So let's take a, a winner here. Let's make a draw. Let me press the F9 key three times. One, two, three. Okay, so the number six is the winner and it's here. Okay, so this is how we can make a draw in Excel with those two is functions. Rand between and also the VLOOKUP function. I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.